I've probably shown you the Forever flashlight before in this class. When I got it, I had to resist for some time, but eventually my natural penchant for taking things apart joined with my constant search for examples of physics of everyday things, and I took a set of photos to document the work. This first view is only slightly opened up. The main thread of my story here will be how energy goes from the initial source to the final goal. The first step is realized through the crank handle. Now I've really opened up the case. The crank is linked to an electric generator first through a set of gears, then a magnet, which may not look like a magnet to you, but today a lot of magnets are made from ceramic materials with iron within them. The black wires coming out from that generator lead over through the body to this set of electrical energy storage devices wrapped in green plastic. These aren't batteries, though. What? Waiting for you. We did this. Yeah, they're capacitors. After those storage capacitors, there's a lot of relatively fancy circuitry uh, to make sure the output has the right voltage, etc. Then, the current is routed to the back of where the actual lights are. You can see the connections behind the lights, but I'll have to spray a little black paint on to show you where the actual bulbs are. With that information, I could ask questions like, are they in series or in parallel? When the electricity finally does get the bulbs to make light, that light needs to be directed forward. Unfortunately, I neglected to take a picture of the mirror behind the bulbs, partly because that's actually pretty hard to do right. But that only does part of the job. The plastic outside the bulbs isn't smooth. It's formed into five small lenses. We'll get to how these do their job later. But for now, you should note that they do influence where the energy output goes. Remember, this touched on a lot of concepts and devices we have, or will have, covered in this course. The main point here, though, is how energy got from this to this through that.